Okay, we are back with you as always. Jacob Armstrong, Jordan Summit, I'm Ben Mongold, and we are doing the best of the best. Who is the best hunter? Who is the best buck man? Last time was round one. Jacob, what happened? Round one, you saw some pretty big upsets and you saw some very obvious wins. Tyler Farr, Jason Aldean, and Tombo Martin, they're all kicked out. Which leaves us with Ryan Langerhands versus Adam LaRoche and Luke Bryan versus Willie Robertson. What we've got here are the big personalities versus the no personalities. But all in all, all four of these guys can get the job done. I think it's big time coin toss with Lange and Rochi. Should we just toss a coin and save ourselves some time or should we actually watch the footage? Let's watch some footage of that. Let's get a closer look. We're going, in, we're going out west. We're going Midwest. We're going to go all over because these guys are hunting fools. All right, this is Big Sky Bow Hunt. This is these guys doing their thing out west in Wyoming. They both are very, very good out west. It's really a match of the Titans here. So Lange and Rochi both have just incredible hunting instincts. They seem to always just kind of make the right decision. Absolutely. And experience trumps everything. That was pretty, that was a poke. There's some personality right there in Lange blowing what a up the mic. Point for Lange. We're just gonna give Lange that one. Rochi made a great shot. Lange was a better cheerleader. Don't mess with Rochi. Don't mess with him at all. So now you got Lange going after antelope in this episode. Same branch, but he's going after antelope, which is an incredibly hard animal to hunt with a bow. It's just hard to get in that bow range with the antelope, and they're a much smaller target. And they're the second fastest mammal. Yeah. Land like, mammal. I'm surprised you didn't know the that. The cheetah's quicker, and that's about it. They're so fast. And this antelope is 70 plus yards. How many plus? How many over 70? I don't know. That could be 71 but it's that over 70, it's over 70. That's all I remember was it was over 70 yards. And Rochi happened to be filming it from the side. There you go, Rochi. Point for Rochi. Getting the second angle. So Lange drops a bomb on this antelope. It had to be 80 yards. 80 yards. <coughs> it's still 70 plus. Trying to spot and stalk these jokers with a, with a bow and arrow. We got, I'll tell you what, we got it handed to us. Okay, so Several this times. one, you have got great muley with Rochi, great antelope, super long range with Lange. That one's a toss-up right now. Yeah. I, I think mean, we're level on this one. We've not advanced at all okay. at this point. No progress. So far, nowhere. Let's well, go to E3. Watch. What is Lange's biggest deer of the E3 ranch? He killed a buck named Junior, and I think he went about 215. So there's this giant deer at the E3, and the last couple of years, Rochi's been calling us off of him. His name is Junior. So Rochi's management style at the E3 is uh, at times questionable. I think sometimes he has deer there that are absolutely old enough to go after. And he just, I think, wants to put them on the do not shoot list until everybody gets out of town, I think is how, how he operates. So last year, you know, I, everybody's got different opinion on it. I, we, we assumed he was a four or five year old deer. Was he four, was he five, who knows. Um, if he, you know, just looking at his body and, and trying to figure out, you know, could he get bigger? Um, we, we thought he could. I told Lange, I said, if he comes out, take a look at him. Lange was hunting in the area where, where Junior had been and and uh, sure enough, Junior comes out for uh, 15 or 20 minutes, you know, in front of Lange. And uh, he took a good look and, and couldn't force himself to shoot him. That's a point for passing that deer. I couldn't have done that. I don't think anybody. No chance. How, how do you pass that deer? If I'd have been the stand with Lange, I would have slapped him in the back of the head and grabbed his bow and shot left-handed. He's a lefty. How do you have that level of self-control? This is probably the only place in the world where I don't pull my bow back on that deer. <laughs> I almost want to nix him just for doing that. All right, fast forward a year, this guy is blown up and now he is 
I remember we were assuming he was all over 200 at the yeah. time, probably over. Finally, he's starting to get into range, and no matter how many times you imagine how everything's gonna go down in your head, it ends up usually not working out that way. So his patience paid off. He passed him the year before. He comes back, blows way up, huge buck. Well, and Rochi basically gave him dibs because he passed that yeah. deer. It's, it's, you know, like, as Rochi, though, how do you not go out after that? Right. Go actively hunt that deer. Well, he didn't hunt him. He let Lange have him instead. But in true Rochi fashion, something's got to get a little fishy. He went in, found Junior without Lange knowing, and had him mounted to play what is potentially one of the best pranks in Buck Commander history. Of the best joke, it couldn't have happened to a better guy a more deserving guy, Ryan Langerhans. Hey, nothing like a same day shot and mount ready, huh? Talk about turnkey. <laughs> <laughs> We're on it. <laughs> turnkey. <laughs> Get the next guy in here. <laughs> well, <laughs> Boys, it's been a good morning. <laughs> so Lange gets Junior, yep. and it's the biggest buck we've ever killed at the E3. By far. But fast forward a year later, also at the E3. You know, he was a deer the year before that that somewhat got overlooked. I mean, he was a he was a good looking deer, but not one of those that were kind of wondering, do we shoot, do we not shoot? I remember Matt Light had him close range for a while. We had a good night. We saw one heck of a deer that uh, probably next year we'll make some epic episode for Roji when he finally takes down this amazing 200 inch deer. And he's just one of those that 12 months later just, just blew up. Dude, pinch me. <laughs> that could not have just happened. <laughs> He's got this one deer he's been Dude, after great. all season called the boot buck. He got him. Right there. Hey, he's doing a little bulldozing. Oh, baby, my Step to the chase. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So, Rochi Ooh. shoots a giant. Now, Rochi's got a 200. Well, Which one's bigger? A, junior's a little bigger. Okay. But so now, they're, a they're tad both. Bigger. They're, yep, but they're both in the 200 club. Right? Yep. Yeah. He ended up being the biggest whitetail I've ever killed with a bow. Uh, get out of here. But wait, there's more. He wasn't done. He wasn't done. Fast forward a few weeks later, and now Rochi has already got one under his belt. Now he's after another. As if one 200-inch deer wasn't enough, he has to go after a second 200-inch deer. This buck was called the 7x6, and you don't need a lot of imagination to get a picture of this deer.
Mm. Oh yeah. Grilled them. Mm. This has got to be the best single season that any buck man has had. Ever. Two bucks over 200 inches. Two bucks over 200 inches within a few weeks of each other. Langy may have the ranch record, but he didn't get two of them in one year. Langy, sorry, buddy. One 200 is not greater than 400. 400 is better than 200. Never thought I'd say this, but one 200 is not good enough to get you to the next round, to yeah. the finals. Yeah. Gosh, what a buck. Where's Man. your head at, Benny? I think two 200s in a season. Are we done with the whole competition? I mean, that's Might awesome. as well. Well, I think that's the kicker on Lange, I'm afraid. Lange, sometimes nice guys finish last. Yep. See ya. It's a nice way of saying you're a nice guy. I feel like I'm outnumbered here, but I know the footage doesn't lie, but I still just feel like Langy's probably just a better a better hunter. Well, maybe he will be next year, but this year, he gone. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> I mean... Overruled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, you're out. Yep, two out of three. So, Rochi takes this one, and he is on to the final. But, but who will he be against? Oh, uh, is it Luke, or is it Willie? Stay tuned. Let's find out. After this break about Buck Commander hats. Yeah. Go to our website and get one of our hats. Oh, by the way, this bracket is rigged. I don't know who put this crap together. Okay, this one's gonna get tricky. Luke Bryan, Willie Robertson. Big personalities. So Willie, year after year, produces results. I don't know that there's a time that I filmed him where I didn't think we were gonna shoot something. If Willie goes out after something, there's a good reason. Yeah. Even if there's not a great reason, it's it just, it seems like things work out. My expectations today, um, I would say two, two percent. Deer are attracted to him. They're attracted oh, to him. He's a deer magnet. He really is. Oh, yes. That's the one we was after. Okay. Earlier I said we had a 2% chance of succeeding. I was way off. I've seen some amazing things that have happened to him. What? Yeah. What? Oh. So, would you say that he's lucky? I would say he's the luckiest man alive. i tell you what, if you go to our YouTube page, we have an episode right here called Luckiest Man Alive. Nope. Where, wait, where is it? Cue it up and then say that part again, Benny. Funny you mentioned that. We have an episode on our YouTube page called Luckiest Man Alive featuring Boss Hogg. We have said for years that Willie is the luckiest man on the planet. Somehow with him, it just kind of falls in his lap. You know, he doesn't really have to work for it. It just kind of shows up and happens. Vinny, you didn't think we was gonna say anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the deal, you gotta make your own luck. You ain't gonna kill a deer at the camp. And you definitely ain't gonna kill a deer at the American Idol set. They know if they're gonna keep up with Boss Hog, they better, they better start shooting stuff, so. No doubt Willie's super lucky, yeah. but he has to execute the shot. <laughs> He's doing something right. He's he knows out how there. to do it. You can't kill him from the couch. But I think Willie could kill him from the couch. Like, sometimes, like, he really is just that lucky. Does Willie take hunting seriously? You know, I think the thing is, for all of us, we take the hunting part seriously. It's the other part that we just sort of try and have fun with and not take too serious. One complaint that I have with Luke, though, is he's way more concerned with fishing than he is deer hunting. I think Luke is a way better fisherman than he is a hunter. But this is Buck Commander. This isn't Finn Commander, this is Buck no. Commander. That doesn't carry right any deer. weight right now. No. As entertaining as it is and as he is, it just doesn't, like, it doesn't work for us right now. Literally did not even waste one. If they're gonna eat like that, we're fixing to catch 100. So we're giving Willie one point right now. Willie's yep. got, Willie's, Willie's got, got the edge. A, yep. Let's talk about marksmanship. All right, let's break it down a little bit. Luke Bryan has had a really, really long shot down in South Texas at close to 400 yards. Oh, wow. 
So far, the longest shot in buck commander history is by Luke Bryan. He shot a deer in southwest Texas about 385 yards. Yeah, that's a poke. That's that's a poke, because that looks like an ant on this footage. How far yeah. is that? That's 387. Hold on, let me get settled. Did you say 387? Jeez. Ready? Bam. Got him. And I remember he got on fast. Could y'all tell if I hit that deer? It's a long way. Yeah, it was so far we didn't. Way. I mean, it's so small on the screen at that distance, it was hard to really, for yeah, us yeah. to tell. Sure enough, got him though. We ranged him, it was 387. Yeah, that was never official. And he fell dead in the road. So, uh, okay, so look, right now, I don't know if Willie's got an answer for that. 387 yards. No, nah, that is good. But I was with Willie in Texas for a little bit further. Pass that thing forward. Oh, come on. Pass right, that thing see. forward, he says. Pass this thing forward. All right, he's at 400. Let's get him. Hey, you ain't seen me dropping deer at 400 like that, have you? Jeez. Oh, 400, okay. he says. He's a so little he's got, proud of it. So he's got like 13 yards on him there. But that's further. A win's a win. Yep. Willie's got him there. I stand corrected. I do know of an instance where I think Luke deserves a deduction. Where's that? It was all of Louisiana. That's a monster. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, yeah. As you can tell, it's first light. Mm -hmm. Great time to shoot a deer. And there's a nice buck that just stepped out in the road. Wow. And now he, he hasn't seen a doe or anything. He is no more smoked. He's down. Down, down baby. <laughs> I ain't got light. You got him? You got him? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a slick, like a slick eight point. That's a monster. That's a monster, son. He's got Zero. trash. Zero. Zero. Let's go. Let's get him. Hunter. We screwed up. The luckiest man alive versus the fluke. If you put it that way. So all the naysayers in Buck Commander that call me Fluke Brian. Oh, s***. Roll the footage. So these are two guys who are just excellent results despite themselves. How did that deer shrink like that? So, yeah. where do we stand? I think I'm going with Luke on this one. Mm. Jordan, what do you think? Where are you at? I think I'm going to go with Willie. Staying with Willie? I'm staying with Willie. I think Jordan's kind of scared to vote against Willie for anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not watching this. It's okay. All right, so you're Willie. I'm going Willie. Sounds like Jordan's Willie. The W's have it. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry Luke. Luke, I tried. Hey, you still got your music career. There's nothing wrong with that. That brings us to the finals. Oh, wow. mm. oh we have gosh. narrowed it down to two Buckmen. Yeah. On that note, we're going to wrap this one up. Y'all stay tuned for the grand finale. Adam LaRoche, Willie Robinson, tell them, Jordan. It's going to be an epic finale. Y'all put your vote in in the comments below and we'll have a fan favorite on the finale.